And let's take a look at one final example. Uh, it's sort of long compared to our other ones, but like I said, as long as we follow the product rule, we will be fine. So u equals 2 sine of x minus 6x squared. v equals 4 cosine of x minus x cubed. So dy dx in our case is u, 2 sine of x minus 6x squared times dv dx, which is negative 4 sine of x minus 3x squared, plus v, which is 4 cosine of x minus x cubed, times du dx, which is 2 cosine of x minus 12x. And uh, we do have some duplicated terms here, so let's go ahead and... Uh, Multiply this out just a little bit. So 2 sine of x uh, times negative 4 sine of x, that's negative 8 sine <clears throat> squared x minus 6x squared times negative 4 sine of x. Well, that would be positive 24x squared sine of x minus 3x squared times 2 sine of x which is 6x squared sine of x, and finally plus 18x to the fourth. We get that by multiplying these two terms together. And now plus, and we'll just do the same thing to the bottom two uh, factors, 8 cosine of x squared minus 2x cubed cosine of x minus 48x cosine of x plus x cubed, 12, I'm sorry, 12x cubed, 12x to the fourth. So simplifying everything down, we get something like 16 cosine squared x minus 2x x squared plus 24 cosine of x plus 18x squared sine of x plus 30x to the fourth minus 8. And there you have our answer. <clears throat> and uh, like I said, just follow the product rule to a t. Uh, you can have the option every time of multiplying everything out before you carry out the method. But if you multiply everything out, there's also the chance that uh, you'll still get two multiplying x terms that you can't combine. So you have to use the product rule anyway. So uh, if you can, just simply start right away with the product rule. Thanks for watching this section. Uh, this is educator.com. We'll see you next time.